We will talk a little bit about the air quality and also about how citizens respond to uh, the air quality and air quality problems in, in Beijing. And my first question uh, will be, can you maybe tell a bit about how do you think that citizens do think about this haze? How do they perceive it? Uh, generally speaking, we could say that the citizens in Beijing are highly concerned about the air pollution. Yeah, according to one survey we had, we did in the spring of 2014, mm -hmm. almost six, uh, 76 percent respondents take it as a very severe problem. Yeah, so I mean, that's uh, so much, yeah. yeah, yeah. Several years ago, it's, it was quite difficult for the citizens to collect the information of the air quality. Yeah. I think it's because uh, at first citizens have had a very limited knowledge of the concept of the PM idiom, uh, PM 2.5, yes. which is the main source of the air pollution, uh -huh. not to mention seeking information about it. Uh -huh. And on the other hand, the government uh, didn't include the PM 2.5 as the indicator yeah. to, for measuring the air quality. Yeah. So there's no official source to 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 do to to seek the information about the air quality yeah. at that yeah. moment. But nowadays, people have more sources to uh, collect the information about the air quality. Because as you know, uh, when you are surfing the internet, yeah. for example, you can just see the air pollution, uh, air pollution uh, indicator besides yeah. the search engine. So yeah. it's quite convenient. Yeah. Yeah. And can you maybe show that how that works in practice? Hey, yes, sure. So maybe we can do it. Yeah. Yeah. On cell phone, when you click the, the browser, just click the the search engine option. Now you will see the the indicators for the air pollution. It's quite easily. Also, you can do the information search, but it's there. Okay, so it is the the one hundred and forty four yeah. that you see standing there. It's a little bit slightly polluted. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So it's quite easy for us to collect the information about the yeah. air quality. And can you maybe also tell about the relationship between, on the one hand, the accessibility of uh, data for citizens, and on the other hand, mm -hmm. uh, the provision of data by the government? Mm -hmm. And also, is that maybe challenging the government as well? Yeah. Uh, in my opinion, I do think it's a big challenge for the government about the information and governance. Because as you know, now people have more sources for seeking information about the air quality. Mm -hmm. So for the government, it, it would be very uh, important to ensure that their, their data is accurate. Mm -hmm. So they have to uh, make their indicators more scientific mm -hmm. and to uh, ensure that it's in, in accordance with the data yeah. citizens have had. Yeah. 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 How do people evaluate uh, the efficiency of the government in uh, taking action on airport? Uh, as far as I am concerned, that most people or most citizens in Beijing complain a lot about the government's efficiency in solving the problem. As you can tell, that we are still suffering from the the proper problem. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But I would say that. People uh, in our status, like expecting some change while tolerating the problem or suffering from the problem. Mm -hmm. uh, according to one of my recent research that most people choose not to leave Beijing because they believe that the government is, is solving the problem in a very a good way. Mm -hmm. so they be, believe that in the long term, in a long term, mm -hmm. the problem will be solved, even yeah. though it's not efficiently, as you can see here. Yeah. And uh, my last question is about the roles of uh, citizens. What do you think that uh, citizens could do to in, in solving the, the problem with air quality? Uh, yeah, correct me if I said it wrong. I mean, uh, in my opinion, I think mm -hmm. that the citizens in Beijing now are living a very unsustainable lifestyle, so which which also do uh, make a difference for the air pollution mm -hmm. happening now. I think we should uh, 
uh, involve more citizens to live a very sustainable life. Mm -hmm. As you know, we have so many cars in Beijing moving every day on the road, which is the car emissions has caused a lot of portion of the air pollution source. Uh -huh. So we have to, maybe we, we should convince the citizens to abandon this uh, high environmental impact activity to adopt more sustainable activities yeah, yeah. in their daily life. Yeah, so uh, maybe other forms of, of mobility. Yes, maybe the sharing bicycles, yeah. Maybe the solar energy cars yeah. or the electric cars yeah. could be better. Yeah. Yeah. But it's a long journey to achieve. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Thank you very much. Yeah.